Wade. Welcome to Wade's Room. So before I start the review, guys, quick shout out to at Panda Panda 16 Really appreciate it, doggy. He actually requested this review, guys. My Yodas, my Micro Pacers are usually hanging right up there on the wall, but today they're on the table. So again, if you guys ever see anything behind me or on my personal Instagram at Sense Before You, just message me, DM me, and I leave a comment. If you guys want to see something that I own and you want me to review it, I'll go ahead and do it, no problem. And if I don't have it, still message me. I might be able to get a hold of it, uh, even if it's just to do a review, guys. I want to bring you some quality content, so you know, want to know what you want to see too. So okay, I'll go ahead and get into it. It may be a little overwhelming, but I mean, this was just such a massive release by Adidas that it, it may take a little time. So I'll try to go through it in maybe chunks, <laughs> the best that I can. So this was an Adidas Originals by Originals release, and this was a collaboration with Star Wars. Now it wasn't regular Adidas, it was Adidas Originals by Originals. Now the best way I can explain this uh, is if you had an Adidas account at that time, you were structured into a tier, just kind of like Nike. Nike had your Hyper Strike, Adidas had your Y3. Now it just wasn't Y3 product, but it was on that same tier level. Then you had Originals by Originals, like you had Quick Strikes, and then you had, you know, not your general release, but you know, somewhat a little bit more limited, and then just your general stuff. And that's pretty much the way it was structured. They may, have, oh, may, they may be have some other tiers, may have been some other tiers in there, <laughs> but it was pretty much structured that way. Now, I was working at Soul Boutique at the time here in San Antonio, Texas. We had just received our uh, originals account, maybe three or four months before the release. And we had already had expressed our interest to them about receiving this collaboration. And um, that was, you know, we'd already ex expressed interest before we actually received the account. And when we received the account, we let them know again, you know, we were still very interested in it. And when they said that they would be able to send us some stuff, we were extremely excited. They told us they didn't know what they could send, but we were in very good standing with them. And we were doing really, really good on product and apparel. So... We were super excited to have the product just come in at all. When we received the product, which was in 2010, uh, that's when the pack started to release. There was a fall and a spring. This was, if I remember correctly, this was a spring release, and in the fall, there was another set of four or five shoes uh, to release. So we received this product, and I think we had maybe four boxes, guys. Because of the packaging, as you can see, it's not your typical shoe box. Maybe six could fit in a, in, in a box, depending on their size. Uh, some of the packaging was cracked, which was really tough. You know, I, the ones I have are not cracked, but it just kind of sucked, you know. I mean, the excitement of getting the pack, but again, it was very hard to package. They did have packing foam, and Adidas did do their absolute best to prevent cracking. It's not like they just threw them in there. There was plenty of stuff to prevent it, but sometimes things happen, you know, like you get a dented box. Well, you had a broken case. Um, so when we did receive them, guys, this, again, was a massive release. I think there was a total of 15 shoes on the first release. <laughs> right, fucking boom, right in your face. 15, 15 shoes. And I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm in the right ballpark because that release consisted of, okay, three different packs. You had a characters pack, you had a vehicles pack, and you had a direct pack. So each release saw five shoes, you know? I mean, and that's just, again, the spring. In the fall, it was a lot smaller. You had, I think, a Boba Fett, a C-3PO, and I think you had two or three more models. I can't remember exactly, guys, but that was a much smaller release, and we did get all of that pack, which was really, really nice. Again, not a full-size room, but we did get every model in that pack. Now, back to the character, vehicle, and direct pack. Adidas structure, Adidas structured this not the simple way <laughs> you, you would think just all characters are in the characters pack but the darth vader the stormtrooper are actually in the direct pack and i think the micro pacer here is in the characters pack so instead of getting into all that you know that that crazy breakdown i'm just going to tell you the shoes that we received at soul boutique 
Okay, so from the character side, we received Darth Vader, which was a ZX-800, and I am talking, this leather was some of the best leather I'd ever seen. I mean, even to this day, that, it was just so buttery. I, I wish I had a pair, and I don't even like black sewed shoes, but that, it was just executed just so well. Adidas crushed that, crushed it. Now, uh, you had your Luke Skywalker, which is a, a top 10. Your Princess Leia was also a top 10, guys. The Skywalker, is done after the flight suit guys as you can see right here again i'll get into the review a little bit later the princess leia guys was done after the maroon and gold outfit she wore uh when she was with jabba the hut uh, i have the yoda right here guys and you can see it definitely resembles what he wore and yoda himself again i'll get into this a little bit later and last we had the stormtrooper and that was very cut and dry it was a, a super skate and it looked like the Stormtrooper in terms of the material they used. It was very, very on point, guys, and uh, definitely executed well. Just the entire pack. Uh, now, coming to numbers, Darth Vader, we maybe had three. Yoda, I would say three or four. Luke Skywalker, I think we had five. The Stormtrooper, we had seven. And the Leia, we had 10. So, and we had a men's size eight and a half, which is a woman's 10. I should have bought it and I didn't, I slept. I, that's my fault, but you know, sometimes you miss them, right? You can't win them all. <laughs> uh, so, oh, and not all of the shoes were packaged in this casing. The Leia's and some of the vehicle pack was packaged in actual just regular boxes, but not your regular blue. It was white with the blue stripes. That was uh, Adidas Originals by Originals Boxing at that time. So when it came to the vehicles, we got all the vehicles, but very, very slim numbers. So we got the X-Wing, which was a Samba, the Super Death Star, which was on a Superstar. <laughs> we got the TIE Fighter, which was, ooh, uh, Nizza High, the Nizza High. was a weird model. I mean, it, is, it looked cool, but it wasn't my cup of tea. I think we only had two of those anyways. Uh, the at, AT was really nice, which was a forum mid, and we had, I think, four of those. And then the Millennium Falcon, which was really cherry, uh, real subtle, but just, you know, again, well executed. I think we only had two of those. And in the X-Wing and the Superstar, I think we maybe had two or three of each of those. So it was very, very slim numbers. And then the last pair we had was the Micro Pacer, and we only had two of those, if I'm correct. So again, very small numbers, very random sizes. In the Stormtroopers, I think we had three or four ten and a halfs. Uh, smallest size was a nine and a half. It was weird, just, you know, but again, happy to get what we got, and we were just super excited. We had a small line, uh, almost sold out. Uh, once we went online, again, almost sold out, but at that time, we kind of had this once, we let the customers have their go and online have their go. We were able to pick and choose. I was lucky enough that the only eights in the pack were left and I was able to get both of them. <laughs> I really like the Skywalkers and I really, really wanted these, but I'm very happy with what I was able to get and still happy to this day with these. I really don't go and look for these, but if these do ever happen to pop up brand new in my size for a decent price, I wouldn't hesitate to buy them. I, I really, really like this top 10 guys but the yoda is just probably my favorite out of the pack to be completely honest i i absolutely love this shoe very very much uh the micro pacer <laughs> was the most expensive out of the pack <laughs> but uh, it just happened to be in my size right lucky me i think it was retailed at 200 or 220 everything else was between i think 120 to 175 uh and then this one at the 200, if I'm correct. Yeah, it could be a little off, but that's the way I remember it. Um, ah, damn, not 100%. But again, this was Adidas Originals by Originals. So not only were the collaborations elevated in terms of quality of the actual collaboration, but actual materials, guys, were just turned up to 11. Like, to be completely honest, I, it was worth every penny. I mean, every shoe for the price point that you paid was very very well executed I mean I know these are expensive but when you look at the shoe in hand you know why same thing with every model guys I mean every detail of the shoe is just 
very well thought out, very well placed. I would love to see the samples. If Adidas ever wants to show your boy, I, I, hey, hey, I like your boy. You know what I'm saying? But it's fucking just awesome, guys. They, Adidas at that time was killing it, and they, the David Beckham release was also originals by originals crushed. The Ransom one was just crushed. They had a Disney one just crushed it. I mean, everything, even the Jeremy Scotts in terms of squal, uh, squality, in terms of quality at that time were just absolutely amazing. Uh, I know I don't have all the pack, but it would be quite, <laughs> it would have been a lot of money at that time. I was, well, you know, it was too much, too much. But again, these two were perfect for me and very happy to have got them. So I will go ahead and review all three of these guys. Uh, these Skywalkers are not mine. They are 10 and a half. They are my friend Art's. He happened to leave them here. I think he wanted me to clean one because I was cleaning shoes at the time to display, let people know what I could do. And uh, the other left it dirty, and it's just been here, packed away. Art does not care about any of these things. He buys it to wear to the ground. So <laughs> I guess I've extended the life on these <laughs> by, by, by just keeping them here in safety. But I'll go ahead and review these two guys. And I don't want to keep you waiting any longer because these reviews are going to be awesome. I'm going to try to get into every detail that I can. So let's do it. We'll go ahead and start the review off with the Skywalker first. Just going to move these two other pairs out of the way. Going into the Skywalker, guys, we'll go ahead and talk about the packaging first. Uh, since all three are packaged exactly the same. Uh, the inspiration behind the packaging, guys, was actual Star Wars action figures. Uh, they wanted to package the collection exactly the same. Uh, Action figures were popular uh, back then with Star Wars and are still popular today and uh, very collectible. So you can see here, it takes the shape of the shoe, which is really nice. You have your Adidas branding right here at the top, guys, and you have your Star Wars branding here. You kind of have this galaxy print carrying all the way around and you have your three stripes here at the bottom. Now behind the shoe, very similar to action figure packaging, behind it you always have a picture of the action figure that you're buying. So behind this is a picture of Luke Skywalker, the inspiration behind this shoe. And I'll give you a look at that once uh, we actually unbox them. So right here guys, you see just the, the back branding uh, on the cardboard, which is again, very similar to an action figure. Uh, on the back of action figures, it usually has images of other action figures in that collection that you can purchase. And uh, here, Adidas did the same thing, which is really, really cool. Again, you see the branding at the top, and then you have your Stormtrooper here with the Super Skate, you know, kind of the action figure and the models, which is really nice. You have your uh, Luke Skywalker with your top 10, but they just dubbed it the SW Skywalker, your Yoda with the ZX Boat. You have an image right here of all the characters, which really uh, kind of brings to life the micro picture, guys. It's kind of built up of iconic uh, scenes throughout the movies. And then here at the bottom, guys, you have Darth Vader and you have your ZX-8000 and the hoodie that both took inspiration from him. Down here, you have your sizing label and then your warning, uh, the choking label, which is usually on all uh, action figures as well. So I'll go ahead and unbox this for you guys here give you a good image of the Skywalker back in there. Really, really cool, sorry about that. Um, just to kind of give you guys a real quick over overview. Right here, guys, you see Luke Skywalker. I know it's very, uh, you know, that blue tint to go with the galaxy print. But if you look closely, his suit here is supposed to be orange. Right here is his back into his chest piece. And here on his chest piece, he has a tubing that runs back into his suit. Here on his helmet, you really can't see it, but you get your, your Rebel logo right there, guys. And all these are very, very important because they all kind of play into the, the design of the suit, guys. So I'll go ahead and uh, show you the, the actual shoe. I said suit, but the actual shoe. Sorry about that. <laughs> so the upper is made of pretty much all orange canvas and the canvas is really nice in terms of texture weight and feels very heavy very well made very good quality it has tonal stitching throughout guys going throughout the upper now before I get into the mud guard and the stripes I just want to go into the back here guys 
So, like again, I was uh, mentioned the chest piece that he wore on his flight suit that um, has buttons on the front in white and royal blue, and that's where you get your eyelets from, guys. And they are metal, which is a really nice touch. The tubing that goes from his chest piece into his suit is gonna be this tube right here, guys, and it goes all the way around the back collar of that top 10. Now, right here, guys, you get that white kind of backing from the chest piece that he's wearing again in that picture guys which is really really nice it has black straps so i want to say that this could be the black leather inspiration right there now going to the black laces and the black sole guys i want to say that that could be his black gloves and black boots since those were a part of the outfit but when he wore the rebel flight suit on hoth he had white boots and white gloves so i don't want to know if that was i don't know if that was kind of a mix of both or not you know but either way very well done your mud guard and your stripes guys are all the same uh kind of off-white nubuck these were pretty dirty when i cleaned them so they do kind of have a little darker hue but i think it really adds to the overall kind of uniqueness of the shoe in terms of the more you wear it the better it's going to look some shoes are just like that and i feel this is one of them it, it really brings to life the natural look and wear of a of the flight suit in the movie which i think is really really cool you have skywalker just printed right here not in both skies now the tongue is a really nice feature um it has kind of this layered kind of faux leather which is really nice and it carries all the way on top of the tongue but on both sides, you have canvas that are stitched down on the side, which is really sharp. I love the tongue. It has a picture of Luke Skywalker there. It gives you his name, the Adidas branding. Huge in your face. Very nice. But this also carries right around to the back, which is really cool. Really nice little detail, guys. I really, really like that. Uh, the insole, guys, is going to be leather in both uh, with Star Wars. I wish I could take it out. Just can't on this pair. Uh, you can see right here it has Star Wars with the Lucas branding right there at the bottom. All leather on the inside. You have your Rebel here, your symbol. And I like that because this is very reminiscent of the actual helmet. Um, and then you have your stripes. There were stripes on the helmet, but not the three. But here's for Adidas. You got your three stripes. Boom, boom, bam. The interior is very luxurious. Very well done when they were doing this shoe. Again, guys, if you look at it like this. I mean, you have all the pieces just kind of building up. Now, this piece right here, guys, not on this flight suit, but on his, uh, if I'm correct, the Red 5 flight suit, he has kind of this pattern right here on the upper shoulder pad. I don't know if that's where that came from, guys. I'm not 100% on this tongue piece. But still, a really, really cool detail to an overall tremendous shoe. And let's go ahead and get into that Yoda next, guys. Let me go ahead and box this up. Just give me a second here. It's a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, you know what I mean? All right. So let's pull the Yoda in. Again, the packaging here, exactly the same, so not a big deal. Go ahead and give you a look at the cardboard backing. You get a really nice picture of Yoda, which is really, really cool. Get that out of the way. I'll give you a look at both shoes really quick. I forgot to do that with the Skywalker. Sorry about that. Boom. Super sharp looking. So let me just put this off to the side. So again, guys, right here, your... Sorry, I'm just... Ugh, this is my favorite out of the pack. I, I just love looking at this shoe. So the silhouette is very reminiscent of a Clark Wallaby or even a Chukka boot. It kind of has that vibe to it, guys. Now... I guess we'll go with the mud guard first. The mud guard is built uh, of this like kind of hemp, almost canvas material. Very, very thick, very, very durable. I mean, super nice, guys. Has a lot of texture to it. You can actually see it, and it goes all the way around the shoe. I love this kind of stitching right here, and then the real heavy stitching on the toe box. I know it seems like it has a lot of structure to it. It does, but it doesn't look too bulky on feet at all, guys. It actually looks really clean. I love the toe box. It carries over to the tongue, guys. It looks like this crocodile kind of reptilian print. And that's kind of the same look that Yoda's skin has in the movie, which is a really, really nice touch. I love the hue that they chose. I love the dark green wax laces. Very, very nice. I love the, the deep, uh, it's like a deep forest green. Really nice. The wood tips right here, guys, are oh, such a nice little detail. Uh, very much reminiscent of maybe his cane. Now, 
the brown right here, guys, is going to be kind of inspired by his under part of his clothing. So the mud guard in this tan is going to be like his kimono, his robe, or his shawl, whatever you want to call that. And then this would be the undergarment that he's wearing. In the movie, it's more of like a brown suede, it looks like, but they went with a leather. I'm glad they did. It holds well with age, and it ages really well, you know? So the older it gets, the better it looks, pretty much what I'm trying to say there. These... They have no tie off. It's just kind of there for aesthetics and I love it. It carries you off to the back tab right here, guys. And it is embossed with Yoda and the Adidas symbol, which is really, really cool. Uh, again, you get little hints of the skin coming through right here in between your two different fabrics, which I really, really like. It's kind of just like a <laughs> real nice and tight. Uh, you get your branding right here on this torsion bar, which is really cool. I love this hue. It's not exactly, but very similar to this. And you can tell that it was very well color matched. Uh, they did the best they could there. And I really, really like that detail. I'm really not that much of a black midsole guy, but you see the nice uh, Adidas embossed right there on the side. I love the tan and this kind of, you know, the same color right here. And the brown kind of breaks up the black enough that really makes it wearable for me. I love the midsole, guys. I love this ramen noodle looking texture here that it gives you for, um, for grip. And I love the little hint of green right there with the Adidas. And I love this cross right here. This little, you know, just total, it just... Really, the shoe just rounds out really well to me, guys. The inside, you're gonna have your Star Wars branding right here on both tongues, guys. Uh, just green. Let's see if I can notch it there. You got your Lucas branding. Now, the inside is like a pig suede, maybe. Uh, if your sock's too low, it will pull it down. I usually tend to wear these with jeans, and you can see that that's why I have the, the bleed on my collar and my tongue, but it is what it is. I can actually take the insole out on these, so I'll give you a look at the insole, guys, really quick. Uh, it is embossed with Star Wars. I love the stitch square. You see Star Wars Adidas. You see a little wear right there on the leaf or on the trifoil, but very cool. I love this. Love that little added detail, and... Uh, I can't even really tell anything with the emboss on the on the mids on the insole. It's so like light that it doesn't you know cause any discomfort while wearing. I guess is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, guys, that kind of wraps up the Yoda again. My favorite of the pack. Very very well done and just really love the execution. Now, last but not least, let's hit up that micro pacer. One second, guys. Putting up this Yoda. All right, let's go ahead and get to it. Again, same packaging, guys. So we'll go ahead and just take them out. Oh, I had these actually backwards. Sorry about that. <laughs> it tends to happen. So that was nice. This is the image that should be the other way. So this is the back <laughs> and this is the, the front. Again, you have the image of all the cast, guys, or not the cast, but a lot of the main characters in the movie. And I, I like that because it kind of encompasses the shoe. It's kind of a little bit of everything since it's full of iconic scenes. And we'll have to do both of them together, guys, to give you a really good look at this one. Uh, I don't want to leave anything out. So, whew, where do I start? Okay. Oh, go ahead. Uh, okay. <laughs> Tough one. So, we're going to start off with this blue and red theme. I know you can kind of see it throughout the shoe already. And the blue and the red is going to be, see if we can get this, good and evil. Now, the micro pacer came with this little computer, a little clock right here. And it had the date, the time, and you could like track your steps and stuff, which is really cool, if I'm correct, or just time yourself. Either way, really cool. Now, it was only on one shoe and not both. Uh, this one does not have that, but they both do have the Star Wars branding at the top. And this one has a little Velcro pocket. Gives you one of 1977, if I'm correct, that's the year the movie came out, the first one. Here is uh, your Stormtrooper underneath. I love the little Velcro patch. This piece, guys, is a little firm due to the material and how it doesn't really lend itself to wear very well, uh, but still very cool. Uh, so I would recommend wearing a high sock. Uh, the whole upper, guys, is going to be pretty much made of this metallic shiny material. You can see here it's already embossed and it carries that off through not only the mud guard, 
but along the heel, guys. Again, you have your red and blue, and it's always going to be going back and forth in kind of this mismatch pattern, which is really, really nice. On the back heel, guys, you have this Star Wars, which is embossed as well, all the way on the back. And again, your red and blue contrasting here and here on the heel tabs as well. But still really nice, very well done. Now what I'm gonna do is just flip it over and again, you get the mismatching red and blue and you get the metallic Star Wars and both. I really like this, super cool and I love the tread pattern, just really, really nice. Uh, inside guys is gonna be all suede. I would not recommend wearing low socks. They will pull them down, but the insole is also in boast. I'll give you a good open view here guys. Again, red and blue theme. Two little pockets, same image on both guys. You got your suede tongue. Your eyelets are gonna be all Velcro, guys. All Velcro. And right here, you're gonna have your Velcro as well. Now, I don't have any laces, guys. I do have them here. I choose not to wear them. I don't need them. This is enough for me. And it also carries the red and blue theme, as you can see. Now, I just wanted to give you a look inside. We're pulling out. You got your more star wars red and blue branding right here i really wanted to show that to you you got your lucas logos right there and then you can see a little bit and i mean the inside is completely suede it is really rich really really high quality but again you definitely need to wear a higher sock in my opinion now we'll go down to the best part of this shoe and which is all the images so right here you have your chewy you have luke you have obi and you have han and they're all i think if i'm correct in the falcon the millennium falcon and i just love how they hit the toe box with that i do have force fields in these and my yodas to prevent creasing guys and to really keep the image nice and pristine when i do choose to wear them I'm gonna go with the side images here i guess i'll just do one at a time here i have uh darth vader with his red and Obi-Wan with the blue, again, good and evil going at it. I love how the leather, I, I don't know if it's real leather, but it's aged really well, guys, and really keeps the image itself. I mean, there's there's no cracking or anything like that. I haven't had any issues with chipping, so it's really nice and carries it all the way to the back, which is just a nice little sliver, and then boom, hits you with another sliver of an image, and you get Jabba, Leia, and C-3PO. Again, I love the way it's creased. It looks very natural, very clean, and I love how they have this stitching to just kind of blend right into the image. Super, super nice, guys. Now, the images on the other one would be Yoda right here on the inside panel. Again, I love the background and how it looks and the contrast between the image and the actual uh, mud guard and heel of the shoe. So, so nice. Uh, again, it carries over and then boom, hits you with the blue. I love that little transition right there. And then you get a battle scene from Hoth with the AT-ATs. It's super sweet. I love it, guys. And I mean, I'm happy they had this shoe in my size, even though, again, it was a little pricey at, I think, 200 or 220 But love the Micro Pacer, guys, and hope you guys like this little review. <laughs> okay, so now that that's all taken care of, <laughs> the review's in the books. <laughs> Uh, again, guys, please subscribe, follow, ring the, the notification bell. I mean, follow me on Instagram at Wade's Room. My personal is at Sense Before You. I even have a selling page, guys, at Second to None TX. If you need anything legit checked or have a question about sizing, hey, shoot me a message, DM me if you want to see anything reviewed. Again, shoot me a message. Shout out to Abanda Panda 16 <laughs> Again, thank you, my friend. I really appreciate the feedback. You guys, thank you for watching, and I'm hitting you with a good one soon. I'll give you a little teaser. Facebox, baby. Oh, oh, I don't want to show you too much. This is coming soon, too, guys.